Well, I suppose uh, the world keeps globalizing, right? And uh, it is very important for people to keep doing business at a global level. So despite all the changes in economies, despite all the new communication methodologies, people still want to see each other, you know, to meet their teams, meet their customers, partners. That's why business travel remains important and probably growingly in the foreseeable future. We estimate that it's about uh, 1.7 trillion, so it's huge scale of money and many companies are starting to understand that it's not just a cost, it's a money you put to create value or an investment that you're expecting to have a return into. We believe it is important to consider the different aspects that uh, might impact the well-being of travelers, the productivity of the traveler themselves. Business travel is something that, like any other activity, has to be taken in the right dose, with the right care. In the long run, it can create maybe frustration. In the traveler, it can lead to demotivation as well. That's why we conducted a survey with the Global Business Traveler Association about the traveler well-being, uh, with the intent to see what practices, uh, what policies, uh, tend to result into more productive, happier and more satisfied travelers and employees. We believe that a company that is uh, looking at the well-being of their travelers can create probably a better environment for retaining employees, keeping them better engaged and not even that, maybe attract new talent as well. In the report we have come eventually to five main areas of recommendation of potential improvements. One is to look into who in the organization is involved in these decisions about the balance of travel well-being. The second one is about the travel policy itself, certain elements within the travel policy. The third one is maybe how rigorous or not we need to be about when to travel, when not to travel. Another one is about if we can promote certain practices on health management during the trips. And the final one is, which is probably painful for many people and can be also improved, is how to manage disruptions. I think it's important companies putting money into business travel. It allows people to contact uh, their clients, their partners, their investors, their employees in a world that is still globalizing and where business is still expanding. So it's a key enabler to conduct business. Mm -hmm.